Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Romani. If you're not sure who I am, you've never seen any of my videos before, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My channel is geared toward beauty, health, and empowerment. Today we have a health video. We're going to be talking about what's stopping you from losing weight. So if you struggle with losing weight, you're just not able to lose it, just keep watching this video because I'm about to get you together. But before we even get into this video, before we even get into the video, Follow me on Instagram at XO underscore R-A-M-O-N-I. Now, let's jump into the video. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with me for a couple years now, you know that I'm a personal trainer. Um, I had a very successful weight loss journey back in the day when I was in high school. And then I redid my fitness journey when I got to college because that freshman 35 hit me real hard. Okay, so this was me at my biggest and this is me now so as you can see that's a really big difference so I'm just going to tell y'all some of the things that I did some of the things that I was doing wrong um, in the first picture and why I was that size um, I was about 14 in that picture so I'm just gonna be telling y'all the things that I was doing wrong at that age and why you know I was not my healthiest and is probably some of the same things that you guys are doing, which is stopping you from, you know, reaching your desired weight loss goal. So let's talk about it. So the first thing that you're probably not doing is drinking enough water. A lot of people don't understand that you are supposed to drink at least half of your body weight um, in water. So I don't drink half of my body weight, but I drink a gallon a day. So I would say either drink half your body weight or drink a gallon a day but you need to be drinking at least eight bottles of water um i actually have this pink cup and four of these makes a gallon so i just drink four of these a day and it makes the gallon um so yeah you could do it like that you could drink eight bottles a day you could drink a i used to drink a full gallon like i used to just carry around a jug with me but that became too much but you could do that just really make sure you're drinking enough water and when you start drinking enough water you're not going to be as hungry as you usually are your cravings are gonna stop so drinking water alone can help you lose weight without eating healthy without working out drinking water alone will help you lose weight it's gonna um clear your skin up it's going to wake you up a little bit more in the morning a lot of people think that they need coffee in the morning but they don't understand that they're just not drinking enough water so their body is just always tired but you're not going to be as tired fatigued none of that um when you wake up in the morning so you're probably not going to drink coffee um you're not going to be like i said eating as much because now you're full on water and you're not looking your body isn't looking for unhealthy foods because because it's satisfied so start drinking at least eight bottles a day drink a gallon or you know drink half of your body weight start drinking water though number two you're eating too much fried food or fast food that stuff is not gonna help you lose weight <laughs> um you want to try to lean over towards baked foods and if you really feel like you need fried food buy an air fryer my mom has an air fryer and she literally air fries everything and it tastes just like deep fried stuff and it's a lot healthier so like we'll have air fried chicken air fried fish she put some bacon in the air fryer one time y'all know i don't eat pork but um even my turkey bacon she put my turkey bacon in the air fryer like you can literally air fry anything so if you feel the need to fry something get an air fryer but i really encourage okay i ran out of storage for a minute but we're back um but i really encourage you guys to eat baked food have you know boiled food broiled food air fried food anything other than deep fried food and then fast food you just don't even want that in your body i know i'm guilty of eating chick-fil-a like a lot but fast food is so bad for you um it clogs your arteries it gives you acne like a lot of people be trying to change up their skin routines but they don't realize that the fast food is what's breaking them out and Fast food can contribute to so much more than obesity and breakouts, like depression, high blood pressure, you name it. Like, you can have so many 
just issues with your body and your health due to fast food. So you definitely um, want to stop eating fast food and you want to stop eating fried food. So even if you do go to a fast food restaurant, maybe try a salad, get a grilled chicken wrap. Um, you know, Chick-fil-A has the grilled chicken nuggets. They have um, macaroni. Like you don't need fries in a burger or a fried chicken sandwich all the time. So really try to lean towards baked food, bright, bright food, fried, <laughs> what? Baked food, broiled food, and air fried food. <laughs> Number three is you're eating too late. So I know some people say that they only, they don't eat after 7 p.m. I'm not doing that. But I will stop myself after 10 p.m. Um, so I'm not eating nothing after 10 p.m. Unless... I just, you know, came back home super late or something like that. But typically, I'm not eating after 10 p.m. And the reason for that is you're going to go to sleep and that food is just going to sit on your stomach and it's going to turn into fat. So you don't want to eat and then go straight to sleep. Even if you're doing that in the middle of the day, because I know like sometimes we eat and we get the itis, you do not want to do that. You do not want to eat and go to sleep. Eat, take a walk, then go to sleep, but do not eat and go straight to sleep. And just eating at night, Especially if you have a really heavy dinner, that is not good. Like, if you do eat after 10 p.m., just make it a very small meal. Like, if I do eat after... Like, last night I ate at, like, 11.41 because I got home super late. But I made me some mushrooms and spinach. Like, it's not no chicken legs, no turkey legs, green beans, casserole, baked beans. Like, no literally have a little like plate of something or like i'll make me a smoothie if it's too late or i'll just drink some tea um the link for my tea will be down below because that'd be busting but i'll just make me some tea i'm never eating a full meal at the the wee hours of the night like i'm not doing it so you shouldn't do it either because we are trying to lose weight and you just have to get in the mindset of changing up what you've been doing so if you're used to always eating after 10 p.m i'm sorry but you're gonna have to switch it up you can't do that anymore because to get the results that you've never had before you have to do things that you haven't done so we have to step outside of the box and we have to stop eating so late no more midnight snacks if you need a midnight snack make some tea get some water do something but the chicken and the macaroni at the like the end of the night is gonna have to stop number four you're not getting enough exercise so i I'm out here sweating, okay? Um, you're not getting enough exercise. So, exercise doesn't... I don't know how to say this. You don't need exercise to lose weight. You honestly just need... Okay, y'all. So, we are back now. My phone overheated. And so, I had to come in the house. But as you all know, my lovely new dog... Look up. Look up. My dog um, chewed up the ring light so we are working with this good old natural lighting per usual but okay so number four you are not getting enough exercise so um exercise like i said you don't need exercise in order to lose weight but it can help you it can help you tone up and it can help you drop some extra pounds so you do want to make sure you're working out at least four to five times a week um i honestly used to work out every single day i just haven't been doing that lately but i do um get it done at least five times a week so at least monday through friday i'll be working out so make sure you're exercising and if you need some exercises i definitely have some um I have some exercise videos on my page and I will link those down below for you so you can watch those and I do have um, videos for my twerk out classes as well if you don't know I teach twerk out classes it's just you know twerk exercise cardio type of stuff so a lot of people um, tell me that they do those and it helps them as well so if you need some exercises just go in the description box and click on one of those links and we can get you started with that and the final thing is you're using too much salt. So if you are eating healthy food, you still want to make sure that you're seasoning it correctly. So there's so many spices and seasonings that you can use other than salt. Salt can be okay for you, but you cannot have too much salt because then that's when you start getting high blood pressure and all that bad stuff. There's so many other seasonings. I rarely use salt. I use oregano, lemon pepper, um cayenne pepper the little crushed peppers there's something else 
I do use garlic salt, onion powder, ranch seasoning. That's what I was trying to think of. Ranch seasoning is the cure to everything. Ranch seasoning and lemon pepper. So you really just want to make sure you're not using too much salt because, again, you don't need all that sodium and it's going to make you bloated and it's just not going to be good for your body. So if you correct those five things, I'm pretty sure that you can start losing the amount of weight that you want to lose. Let me know in the comments if you try these things. Let me know if I, you know, helped you in any way. I would definitely love to hear about that. Follow me on Instagram at XO underscore R-A-M-O-N-I, XO underscore Romani. And you can follow my business page, which is my, you know, personal training page at Glow with Row Fitness. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody who needs it. And I will see you guys in my next video.